Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be building a website with Replit and I'll be using ChatGPT prompt to get all of the code and I will come back to Replit to do all of the building of the um, website. If you've not used Replit before, this is your first time. Um, Replit is a very, very versatile online um, integrated development environment. It allows users to code and um, collaborate and deploy software projects. It has over 50 programming languages support and you can do that on here. And if you've not logged in, you can just come to replit.com and you could just log in and this is how you confirm that you're logged in already i've logged in here and i'm on the free tier on the free version you could build a couple of projects and do a couple of things but they have restrictions on that i'm going to go to chat on chat i'm going to put in the prompt of what i want to do and i'm just simply going to say um i am trying out replics for the first time and i want to build a website and I'm just going to tell ChatGPT to give me a sample website I can build to get started and I'm just going to input this prompt and send it and I'm using GPT-40 so it has put in all the code and told me what I'm going to do these are the basic files that I'm going to be creating index styles and HTML files CSS and JavaScript and it tells me I'm going to run it. I create a Replit project and select HTML, CSS, and JS file. Let me go to Replit now, and I'm going to be creating. On Replit, I'm just going to say new. I'm going to say new, and I will come to choose a template. And the template I'm going to choose is the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I could just call this um, a sample project. And it tells me that anyone can view what I'm going to build. And if I don't want that, I want it private, I could use this and just upgrade. I don't want to upgrade. I want to create this and have it public. And I close this and immediately it brings out the environment for me. And I can close this as well. And I'm just going to open this up. Here I can see my HTML file. I can see my JavaScript file. I can also see my CSS file. And on Replit, it creates everything for me. And here I can do all of the deployment. I can write it. I can see what it looks like. I can actually run it. And it shows me what the website is going to look like eventually. I'll go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to copy the first code, which is the code I'm going to have for my index. Copy this. For my HTML, I will just replace all of this with that code. And I'll come back here and copy the code for um, the design of the website. And I'm going to select all and paste here as well. Good. And I have the optional one. Before I put in the optional, the optional one is um, that of the JavaScript, which is optional. But before then, let me just see what this looks like. I'm going to run this. The moment I run this, I can easily see my website. My website has been built and I can see everything here. So I can add this JavaScript, it's just optional. What this does is just very simple interaction, um, like the button that changes the background color and everything. Um, but I could just copy it and paste it there. And um, okay, I can come back to this place and let me add a few things to my website to just kind of enhance the website a bit. I'm just gonna say nice, um, please be improved. Um, let's just see what modification um, we can have on the UI of this. So it's added a gradient background for header with clean um, typography. I'm just going to copy this code and ChatGPT had gone ahead to update my code for me. I'm just gonna copy this, go back to my HTML files and I'm just gonna replace all of this with this. I come back here and um, copy this. I go back to my CSS and this is good. And I'm going to refresh. When I refresh, you see that my UI is um, kind of improved. I could go on and expand it. And this is everything. The next thing, let me just minimize this. I could deploy the website, but I can do this on the free tier. Um, I can only do it on the paid subscription. And But on the paid, I could deploy this website and have it live and anybody can access it. Um, but I can do it now if I try to do that, it just tells me to do the upgraded one and to upgrade. And you could add more things to it and I'm not editing all of this at the moment. It's just say, hey, I'm your name, a passionate web develop developer. You could add other things to it. But this is just to give you an idea of what you can do with Replit. And when you actually um, 
upgrade and subscribe to Replit. Um, for the paid subscription, you can do more things. You can use the Replit agent um, to build a more robust website, and which is something I'm going to be doing in the next video. I'm actually going to be using the Replit agent, doing something more robust, and show you how that how that goes. But essentially, anybody can code now with Replit. You could just try out this. Um, use ChatGPT, and the good thing about this is that the more you do this, the more you understand what this does. The actual learning is you're trying to debug, you're trying to edit all of this and make the code actually usable. Uh, later on, you could just be able to do that. Um, thank you. See you in my next video. Um, bye for now. Bye.